Oh, are, are we live now? I guess so. So stupid. Okay, so I got this letter in the mail. Now this is, uh, it's from Google, and um, it's for a product that is under embargo until Wednesday, May 16th. But in the meantime, they have invited me to share my excitement on social using hashtag made by Google. So, uh, hold on. Do I, have a, do I have a pen around here? Hold on, hold on, come on. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta get a pen. Hold on, we gotta get a pen. I need my, need my hashtag here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, here, here, we're gonna just get, help, help me hashtag here. Hashtag me by Google. Okay, okay. Oh. So what I was kind of thinking is part of our social excitement can be to do an unboxing of... The Google Home Max? Now hold on a minute! What do you mean the Google Home Max review is under embargo until the middle of May? Uh, maybe there's something that I'm missing here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's... Oh, oh, conveniently Tyler put a label on it so the box is... The box is already open, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get a little unboxing going on here. Uh, one obvious change is that it is now both supersonic and supersonic. So that would be some French-Canadian packaging there. And, uh, okay, there's a, there's a thing that goes there, and there's a definitely very North American uh, power cord there. But it's hard for me to tell if they've changed anything without comparing it to the other two Google Home Maxes that I've had since we did our full review three months ago. Let's go ahead and uh, get, this, get this box open here. Okay, so it's got the... Google Home Max there with the little pad there and the power cord. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So you guys are probably wondering at this point what the purpose of this video is. And this is something that I've wanted to address for a long time. We have a lot of people ask us, like it happens all the time. You know, why are you guys, why are you guys late? on uh, product X or, or service Y or whatever the case may be. And a lot of you guys probably don't realize this, but I am Canadian and our studio is located in Vancouver, Canada. And this is actually something that I am not blaming Google for. So they are, they are launching the Google Home Max and this is something that I can, that I can look up in the news which, you know, by the way, an NDA that you don't sign is not an NDA, so that's sort of a thing. Uh, this just kind of showed up in the mail. But they are, according to the news, launching the Google Home Max, uh, Canada launch, on May 16th, according to IT World Canada, a site that I've never heard of because I never get my news there because I typically get my news from American sites that have literally had Google Home Max stuff up since uh, mid-December, so about six months ago. Um, so, so I get it. I get it. They're they're doing a launch for this product, and they they want kind of a splash in the Canadian media around it. But this is something that we actually run into a whole lot, where companies, uh, large companies, even very internet savvy companies like Google, for example, will have like th this different set of rules for international publications compared to what they do for the US. So if we had waited around for Google to send us a Home Max, we wouldn't have been able to do our HomePod versus Google Home Max video that we uploaded, like I said, literally three months ago until sometime after apparently May 16th. Um, and this is something that we run into a lot and it's, it's really interesting because sometimes it even puts us at a bit of a weird disadvantage where because we're Canadian, um, US agencies and US PR firms and sometimes even US manufacturers, like that branch of their business, won't deal with us. 
but because we have a large US audience and a relatively small Canadian audience, sometimes we kind of get um, second class citizen treatment from the Canadian PR firms as well, in addition to um, just straight not having products available. Now, Google has actually done a pretty good job, and I'm actually very grateful they sent over this home Max, even if I guess maybe they didn't realize that we already had our full review up. So I can't really agree to an embargo for something that I, uh, that I have already clearly broken without actually realizing it. Um, but I'm, I'm not blaming them. It's just it's something that's happened with us a lot. Um, I, a lot of people have asked why we don't have a video up of the LG G7 Think. And the reason is not for lack of willpower. I, I really wanted to make a video about it. I wanted to check out the new camera. Uh, but the problem is that it hasn't launched in Canada yet. And it's really funny because, and this isn't LG specifically. We run into this a lot with mobile phones because they are so region specific, or in some cases, even carrier specific in terms of you know, which models are available in, in you know, which areas or to which carriers. Um, that they really do treat each region like like its own like its own planet. So we'll run into situations where uh, you know I'll be working through an agency on a review of a phone or like a, a teaser. Teasers are the worst. I'll be working with an agency on like a teaser of a phone or something like that, and I won't even have it in the mail yet. And I'll be like, oh, I, I didn't even think to check, but like uh, you know Marquez has had a video up for two weeks. I'm kind of like, yo, guys. <laughs> I'm, to be clear, I'm not complaining. Like, we, we love the support, and you know, we, we love bringing you guys content about tech and all that stuff. Like, I'm not whining about getting a Google Home Max in the mail today. It's just, it's just a kind of a funny situation to me where I'll have to email back and be like, yo, guys, um, the, the internet's a thing. <laughs> Canadians got their teaser already. They're not like. They're not like waiting with bated breath for me to show off the Bell specific bloatware that comes on the Canadian version of this phone. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This I, I don't really uh, I don't really have a purpose. Are, are people like asking questions or anything? Like, um, no, well, yeah, a little bit. Some little some bit. people are kind of agreeing. Some people are like just pressing F. F. So they were saying giveaway. You know what? Why the heck not? Why don't we give it away? That seems like a sensible enough thing to do. I mean, we've already got two Google Home Maxes that, uh, by the way, we just had to buy. And like now people are, are, more people are saying F. There, there, are actually, uh, there are actually services. It's really funny. I was just introduced to one because I was, uh, I was trying to find out you know, when it was launching. And I came across this site called um, WantBoard. And their entire business model seems to be buying things directly from the Google Store. Check this out and then just reselling them in Canada with a markup to Canadians. And you can literally order a Google Home Max in Canada now. Like there are some features that uh, don't work yet. Um, we pointed out in our, in our review that you couldn't use the uh, show me a pizza place nearby feature, for example, that wasn't enabled yet. But by and large, the product works just fine. So, uh, so the whole thing has just always been really funny to me. I don't know how we're gonna manage the giveaway. Um, maybe, maybe what we'll do is we'll get something up on the forum later today. Uh, but yeah, we haven't done one in a while, so I, I think that's a fantastic idea. Just to avoid getting into any trouble with Google Canada, I think we're probably going to give away our US unit. Not that, as far as I can tell, there is any discernible difference between them, other than uh, we've got some you know extra languagey stuff here. So. Instead of just attaching the base here, you need to fix la base ici pour une orientation verticale. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, I guess they assume you can figure out this one on your own. So, thanks for tuning in to hopefully what was a fun little live stream, and we've uh, we've had a little bit of fun. Hopefully, not too much at Google's expense, and you guys have gotten an explanation for why sometimes it just happens that we are straight up not able to.